Hey, this is Patrick from Friendly. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use our user groups and permission settings to customize who has access to which pages and even down all the way to the block level. So you can change the permissions for a specific block on your page to make it accessible to certain users. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to set up this system is you're gonna to wanna to go to your main user settings and go to the user groups tab. I'm going to click add field and I'm going to add two user groups. So in this example, let's say that I have an admin group and I have another group called employees. Let's assume that I don't want my employees to access all the same information that my admins have access to. And you can even set default pages for each user group. So once a user is actually assigned to a group, this will determine which page they get redirected to automatically when they log in. Pretty useful if you're trying to build a two-sided portal where you know certain users go to different pages and they shouldn't have access to other parts. So in this case, I'm gonna say that the admin logs in and they go to the analytics page. Employees, they just go to the tool management page. I'll hit save. And now I'm gonna to go to my users. Well, I'll, I'll be an admin. So let's say that my admin user, well, obviously, generally I, I would be in the admin user group, but in this case, I'm gonna make myself an employee. So I'm gonna hit save, and now we can go set up these settings, and I'll go back and forth, and I'll show you how these settings actually interact with the page. So. On my tools page, let's say I want everyone to be able to access this page. So in the access settings, there's this permissions pop-up. I just created these two user groups and right now, I think that admins and employees should be able to access this, access this page. I could turn it off for a specific user, but I think what I'd rather do is I'll set my analytics page so that this page is only accessible to admins. So all I have to do is turn off my employees and hit save. Now, let's say that I'm an admin and I'm previewing my tools page. You can already see that I don't even have visual access to this analytics page. And if I go to my user and I change my user group to admin and hit save, then refresh my page all of a sudden I have access to analytics. So this is page level user groups and permissions. I've been able to prevent certain users from accessing certain parts of the app, even seeing those pages in the sidebar just based on my settings. Now, another layer, if we wanna get a little more complicated is we can actually prevent users from seeing certain blocks on a page instead of preventing them from seeing the entire page. So let's undo my setting. Let's say that I want users that are employees to be able to see these two charts, but maybe there's another table and stores my e-commerce orders. And maybe I only want the e-commerce orders block to be visible to the admins. So exactly the same way that we edited the page permissions, there is a permissions setting here in the block settings. So just like we did before, I'll just turn that off for employees and hit save. Now, I believe my user is still an admin, so I should be able to see everything. But if I go back, change my user, change them to an employee, then I'll refresh the page, voila. My employee is able to see the two blocks that I allowed them to have access to by default, but this table does not exist for them. So you can see how, depending on your unique situation, you can create these pretty granular permission structures in order to have different users accessing different parts of your app, which is what Frontly is all about. Taking your spreadsheets, turning them into useful, functional products that you can use in your business and give people the access that they need. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks so much for watching.